Good morning, Dims Dale. Okay, um, it is. Yeah, um, 10:30. I'm going to the airport in like an hour. My flight is at 1:20. Need to get there at 12:20. The website said I needed to get there at 11:20, but. I'm waiting on a package, so I'm kind of just going to push my luck on the flight situation and hope I make it. I'm going home to see my family in Arkansas, and I'm super, super excited. I haven't seen them in a year. Like, there's so much I've missed in a year. So I'm excited to go back. I'm super sad. Um, Sam isn't going to drop me off at the airport. And, like, our, we have, like, this huge tradition about the airport not gonna get into it but we had this like big tradition and he had school so he couldn't take me another thing I'm flying American Airlines and no offense to anybody but like I only fly Delta really because I've always had bad experiences with every other airline so I'm really nervous to fly American today and the only reason why I'm doing it is because it was like $300 cheaper to fly American than it was Delta because my airport is like the corporate airport for Walmart and all that shenanigans, so I don't know. I'm waiting to go see if my package is here. I'm gonna go check my mail at like 11.30, then call my Uber ASAP like Rocky. I don't even know what's going on. I think I'm getting the flu. Life's great. We'll talk at some point. Uh, okay guys, I was right. Um, The package is gonna come like an hour after I leave, so I'm waiting on Mr. Uh, Mikey to come pick me up in four minutes um, and then we're gonna go to the airport. Oh, he's three minutes away. Okay, he's getting close. I need to go do some things real quick. I wanted to show you before I leave, um, I left Sam, let me flip over these notes. I left Sam a little like, don't die without me present thing. I got him like cereal, Oreos, grape juice, popcorn, like two things like the Christmas trees, SpaghettiOs, ranch for like pizza and like these other things that he likes and some Doritos and ice cream in the freezer and some fr like panini stuff and some I don't know, just easy stuff for him to survive with so you gotta take care of your people you know but um I'm gonna okay Mikey's almost here I'll be right back I'll see you guys in a jiffy I'm stuck so I'm in the airport like you guys know it's currently 154 and I'm not on a plane and do you want to know why I don't know honestly apparently I fucked up but I don't know where so I got to the airport at like 12 no 1240 which was like 45 minutes for my flight which is like fine so I go through security and it's fine I'm on time it's great and it's like 107 and I'm getting to the end of security and then I go and I do the like the arm thing and they like scan my body and I step out and the girl's like um it beeped off on your waistline so can you come over to the side for me and I was like shit okay well great and like I mentioned I'm flying American Airlines and I literally never fly American Airlines and this is the reason I never fly anything else besides Delta I go through the thing and it beeps on my waistline and she's like I need to take you either to a private room or I need to take you to the side and like check you around your groin area and so I told her I was like the intercom thing just came on and said that my thing will close in three minutes do I have time because like I'm not trying to miss the flight because I'm flying in like two hours away from my home so I still have to like drive and she was like no it's fine what they do is they walk down and if there's anybody down in the area they'll like intercom them or whatever and I was like great okay I trust you you work here um, I get my vagina checked for um, all that I walk down to my gate and I notice the doors close but I'm like okay you know what there's no way it's gonna happen to me I'm fine it's fine well, my luck by the way, I broke a nail on the way to the airport and I had to do the Caitlyn super glue back together type thing. So, bad day started there. Then I had to pay $30 to buy new headphones because I brought ones for my laptop to edit. But I forgot that I have the 7 Plus and just like that. But, I walked to the gate and it's closed. And as I'm walking up... They just tell me you can't go through it because it's already closed. And I was like, "What do you like? What do you mean?" And as I'm saying that, some other kid is running up behind me, and he's like, "Is it? Is it closed?" And they're like, "You missed it." And we're like, "What do you mean? It's 1:13. Like we have 12 minutes till the plane takes off." And they're like, "No, you need to be here 15 minutes before that gate closes, and two hours before the departure." And I'm like, "It's fucking when?" And they're just giving me attitude, not really even like saying anything. And I was just like, "Listen, I was pulled aside to check my vagina." And he laughed and I was like, like, yeah, it's funny, but like, 
I'm missing my flight because they thought I had bombs on me. Long story short, I gotta change my flight. I have like two hours until I board for the next one. So I'm gonna do some editing and cry. So it was going to be a good day, but the airport travels are going really shitty. So I'll catch you guys up when they're not going as bad. And I'm more disappointed because I had really good vlog footage for today. But now I'm literally gonna get home at like 11 o'clock. So I don't even know what this vlog's gonna be, but we'll see. But for now, I'm just gonna be stuck here. So I was super bummed out about the whole like flight situation. Like it's annoying, I have to wait an extra hour and a half and whatever. But then I just checked, or I went up to the gate to be like, make sure these were the right tickets for this flight. And she was like, who did this for you? And I was like, eh, the worker, like what do you mean? And then she told me that I got bumped up to first class. So I'm not mad anymore. I'm with my mom now, but I'm about to tell her a story. Okay, this is like adding on to the airport stuff that I talked about earlier. I got to the airport, that guy was in front of me, this dad, and he had a child with him. So his dad and his child are in front of me, and it's just, it seems like a dad that's going to meet his wife for Thanksgiving, like just a normal, casual, whole American dad. Um, the first weird thing, he was flying first class with his baby and he could take his stroller and he was just this cheerful little, he seemed like a cheerful little rich guy. He was like, if you need my stroller, just take it. I'll just buy a new one whenever I get there. Like, you can up my price, I'll pay whatever. So I was like, oh, it's just like a cool little lax dad. No. Whenever he's trying to figure out all of his stuff, he asks me to hold his baby. And so I put all my stuff, <laughs> I put all my stuff down and I hold his baby. And he's like, oh my god, thank you so much. This is our first time doing this. And it was like his first flight with a child. He just was a new dad. He was the child was six months old. He was like, it's my first one. Like, this is all about you. You're so whatever. So he was just happy. Then we go to the gate, and then the whole like I miss my flight situation happens. And then he walks up and he's mad because he finds out he misses the flight. And then he goes off and he eats stuff. Well, so he has that temper tantrum and starts yelling, hello, like is my flight canceled? And which sorry, um, my flight got canceled this dad that I'm talking about he started freaking out and having like an aneurysm but so two seconds goes by literally and he looks at me and goes you know what you need to be careful with how you act on this don't get too mad don't do this because how you act on this today is how you act on like everything else in your life and I got his point but it came from him two seconds before screaming at everybody in the airport because he missed his flight so I was like okay maybe he just has some like anger problem. I don't know then I move down the middle of the hallway in the airport so I can edit a video and so I can record a clip about how my flight got canceled. And whenever I'm sitting there and the, and like waiting and filming my video, I see someone walking up from my peripherals from the gate and it's the dad. And I was like, okay, there's no way he's like walking up to me. Like I was by myself, like secluded. If you wanted to get to me, you had to come to me. And he walks and sits right next to me. And I was like, okay. Um, well, maybe by what he said, and like, I'm a vibes person. So it's like, I thought, like, and you know that, so I was thinking, like, maybe he's talking to me for a reason. Maybe I need to listen to him for a reason. So I sat there and I listened to him, and he starts getting into, well, why'd you move here? Why are you here? What's going on? Where are you going to visit, etc. Oh, by the way, look at this. Oh, well, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Oh, I flew in to Tulsa, like I told you guys, so let's. Stuff. He starts asking me all this stuff, and whenever I explain it to him, like what I'm doing in college and all that, he randomly is like, Oh, we're going to see grandma. And he's done exit. Okay, pause on my story. I need some food. That's a quick trip. McDonald's. Is that Taco Bueno? I would eat McDonald's, but like I really. I don't want McDonald's. I know you don't, which is why I don't want to. Because <laughs> I know. Yeah, just go over to that Taco Bueno. Okay. But. Oh, so he walks over to me and out of after me telling him what I do and like whatever randomly throws out Yeah, we're going to see grandma um, It sucks that we have to wait like this is exactly how I said it We're going to no. I said where are you going to be polite because he asked me We're going to see grandma It sucks that we have to wait an extra hour and a half to get on this flight because I know his mother would love to have this extra hour and a half with him But she's a drug addict 
like literally out of like he starts like I say I'm coming to Florida because I mean I live here I'm going to see my family in Arkansas and he goes yeah we're going to see grandma we wish mom could be here for the extra hour and a half layover but she has a drug problem now, he just starts talking about it more and that's kind of the end of that but he seemed kind of very like very scattered because he asked me three times what I was doing and where I was going and so like I don't know like if he's like spacey but I didn't really talk to him anymore and then I got on the plane and then when I was on the plane I was in first class so I was like right in the front and so at the end <laughs> and so at the end um the flight attendant was talking to the guy that was sitting next to me and she was like oh that poor baby like that guy does not need to have that baby and in my head for a second I was like what the hell is she about to say during the flight he had her also help her hold him hold the baby and she the flight attendant changed the baby's diaper and helped feed the baby um, and she was like saying that that she was like that is sad he's not a mean person but she was just saying that that dad has no business with no, that child taco taco something but not bueno but the flight attendant was just saying um he's not a mean dad he's not doesn't seem like crazy which he kind of did seem like a little bit off but she was just like he just has no business he doesn't know what to do and she was saying that he recently got a divorce and that's the part I, he didn't tell me that but like all he said to me was I have a drug addict wife and he has a six month old child and he was doing everything wow that's <laughs> that's what I had to tell it is so good right now yeah. Okay. But yeah, that was my story. Now I'm gonna get food because I haven't eaten all day. But this whole vlog has literally just been me talking. This sometimes is that how it's that that's how it be? That that how it be? It be like that? I don't know. Where are you are we going inside to eat? I like to pee. Oh me too. Girl, I got you. Okay. Uh yeah, I'm hungry. Ooh, taco bueno Mexican grilly. Oh my gosh. Thought they were closed. Playing. Uh, when will your game be over? Call of Duty. It's be over soon. <laughs> Get off. Get off. We're almost done. I need to go to Walmart. Um. And you want to see the picture I'm gonna take? Are you still the vlogger? No, I'm not. Okay, let's go see my room. Looks different. Okay. Well. Not much different than high school. Do I hear my my puppy? Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. This is my puppy. That I got when my parents got to quiet on set. This is my puppy that I got when my. Why are you shaking? Are you like me? Do you have anxiety problems? Me too. It's okay. I'll hold you. This is a dog I got. When my parents got divorced. And it's the first time my mom ever let me get because she doesn't want dog hair. He's kind of ugly, but it's okay. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> I need to go to Walmart. Okay. Oh, These ones? No, 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 they're too small. You're right, they are too small for me. <laughs> Sleepy time tea. Let's go to the coffee and the tea. Oh, it's in the coffee time? Okay. Yes, ma'am. And the little so cup thing. We'll go down the bread aisle right there. Well, that I don't know. No, yeah, it's in that section. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, you're right. <laughs> so we're gonna go with um. This is what I usually get. Oh, sleepy. But what's the difference? Sleepy time extra. Um. Go to this Walmart's so different than mine. I don't know how to work this Walmart. Go that way. I'm looking for the juice. Oh, juice. Yeah. 
Oh. That's not it. It's right here. Wait, is this the one that I was talking about? This is like not what I was looking for. I just need. Oh, where did you go? Wait, what are you? Which one? You found it. I found it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, take an oh, Instagram picture. Shin splints. Oh. So we're gonna go to the colorful section down here for my. Pick that up. Yeah, Kobe. Put you right here. I'm gonna take some pictures real quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and like, kind of squat down a little bit. So it's like even with like my body. One, two, three. We get another one. Two. Blue. Orange. Oh. Okay. Keep going. And that's good. The last was almost funny if you were been still, but that's that one. Okay. Oh, I dang shit. I didn't get my teeth. Oh, sleepy heat. Sleepy heat. Cause I like that stuff. Pick it up. This is a game I like to call Pick It Up. And every time I go to Walmart with him, okay, now he's gonna do it to me. You just, you throw it and you, you pick it up. Too good. Pick it up. <laughs> and that's how you play. <laughs> Where'd you go? Get it. I used to be a professional. Yeah, Not regulation size. Not regulation size. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was that game? Oh, the con, con um, to, the, the con, condomin. Hey, the condomin, condomino. Sheriff right there. <laughs> like bombs. When you see someone you know from high school and you just like don't want to like what 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 just happened? What are those? It's probably gonna be in like the craft, or like the board, the board, board game craft section, yeah. or the back wall. No, 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 no! No, oh, damn it! What art thou doing? <laughs> Where's their cl 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 uh, conglomerate? <laughs> What? Uh, Condomino. Do you know if you guys have any um, condominoes or whatever they're called? It's like the a thing that you hold in your hand. You throw it. It's a ball, and it like lands on the. That was a really bad explanation, but <laughs> it's like a ball, and you just throw it on a string, and it lands on it. Lands in the cone. Oh, uh, condomo, something like that. Ooh, yeah. This is where I was saying it'd be. Oh, sweet. but looks like she's. Yeah, I don't think you do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank though. You. I saw a bingo, bingo, bongo. Why, why, did, why didn't he talk? Catch it. <laughs> Let's get this for Parker. No. Yes. <gasps> it's Batbot Extreme, the ultimate crime fighting machine. <laughs> Me when I'm mad. <laughs> 24 cents for a penis? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I, I have a song I want to sing to you. What? What's the song called? Um, Stay. I Want You by Luke James. It's a cover, so nothing on YouTube would do it. Mother. Anything else? Do you need any other assistance? I want him to take my card. That's definitely on my car. Quiet on set! One nation, under God, indivisible. Okay. What do you call you? He gave me the finger and I didn't like it. <laughs> Where's he going? You gonna play that song? You do your own carpool. Do you get karaoke? I wanna do my own. <laughs> I'm just put it right here. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't drop the credit card. Ah! It's 
I want. Do you know that one time, one of my at band camp. Holy fuck, Samuel. Any ketchup with this today? Nah. All right, I'll be right back with this. All right, thanks, bud. You don't want spicy ketchup? Take some buffalo sauce. Okay, cool. No spicy ketchup. No, I Too don't. late. I didn't even get anything. It's my sweet tea. So he asked you. For, <laughs> he asked you for if you want to catch up, and you said no. And you waited for him to walk away and say, I, I don't want ketchup, but I want buffalo. You're like, you should have clarified, asshole. Oh, the song's not playing. Oh. Oh, don't worry. You can restart it. Reach over my lap. It's fine. Okay. Baby, baby. Uh, like when you smile, it makes a choice on its own. Mm -hmm. Well, the funny thing about this heart of mine knows what it wants. The fuck you do? You don't know about shit that you want, my G. Just to deny it, but girl, I can't fight what I know. Oh. I know. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Are you okay? Suck off. Suck off. Oh, suck me off and call me Sally. I'll poke my butt and call me Bobby. <laughs> Bend me over and call me Nancy. Slap me silly and call me Sally. Fuck me running and call me Rhonda. You want to be a rock star real quick before we go home? Yeah. Nickelback? Cause we all just don't wanna be big rock No, it's fucking Post Malone and Dick <laughs> Get any bad bitches shoving in the pool and I ain't got on no problem You watch me say I'm looking like a whole stack Okay, yeah, I look... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, I obviously look a lot different than I did from the last clip But um, I'm about to go to bed in my room and kick him out into somebody else's room but I just want to close out the vlog for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll do sit down videos with him. So if you want some brother videos, let me know down below what you want. I'm going to try to stay up and edit this and get it up. But I have three videos to edit, so I don't I, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. A lot of vlogs coming this week with my family, so stay tuned. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, Like I said, tons of vlogs coming. Stay rad. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, babes. Never be fun. I hated my dues, I paid it, I waited my heart, I laid it, this life I made it, hey.